In this video, we are going to discuss how to write the electron configuration uh, for certain transition metals, such as, like, let's say, iron, um, Fe, and uh, cobalt, Co. So we're going to use the data on the right, and we're going to start with the first one, 1s. S can hold two electrons, so we have 1s2, followed by 2s2. The P sublevel can hold up to six electrons, so then we have 2p6, then 3s2. We're going to keep writing this until the exponents add uh, to 26. Next we have 3p6, 4s2. The transition metals lies in the uh, D block of the periodic table. So we're going to stop at 3d. So far we have 20, we need six more. So it's going to be 3d6. If you add the exponents, you know, 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6, you're going to get a total of 26. And that's all we need to do to write the electron configuration for iron metal. Now, for cobalt, because it ends in uh, 27, we simply need to add 1 to the 3d6. So it's going to be, you know, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d7. Um, that's all it is for uh, cobalt. But let's try another one. Let's try palladium, for example. Palladium has an atomic number of 46. All right, so we're going to start with uh, 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, so that's a total of 20. Then after 4s2, we have a 3d10, and then we're going to continue. After 3d, we have 4p6 and 5s2. Palladium is a transition metal, and it's in the fifth row, which represents the 4d sublevel. So after 5s2, um, we have 4D. Now, notice that palladium, it's atomic number 46. If we add everything we have, we know up to here is 20, then 30, 36, 38. We need 8 more electrons, so we're going to stop at 4D8. That is the configuration for palladium. It's 1S2 all the way to 4D8. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful. Um, this is just one method you can use to write the electron configuration. There are other methods out there um, that you can utilize.